on the cloud, Ubuntu is the number one operating system on Amazon's cloud, on HP's cloud, with the number one Linux on Microsoft's cloud. So it's a whole new kind of way of thinking about the computing landscape. One, one operating system can span from this kind of device through all of your personal devices up into the cloud. Yeah, sure. So, um, so this is the welcome screen for the phone. It's essentially the lock screen. There's no unlock story. I'll show you why in a second. This is, this is an art that will evolve as you use the phone. So here it's reflecting essentially uh, my usage of Twitter over the last 30 days, but it might decide to reflect the number of phone calls that I'm making or the number of messages that I'm sending and receiving. So it's kind of like art meets science meets data. It's a really nice thing. So this will be different for every different user, but the, the story is the same. Um, all of your favorite applications, we, we pop those in, in here. So they just launched the, uh, the phone. Um, we have both native apps like this gallery app and web apps like Gmail, that notepad over there, Twitter, those are all web apps. Facebook, that's a web app. Camera is native. Um, this is the home screen. So here we organize different kinds of media. You can customize this. There are a couple of hundred different kinds of things that you could choose from, essentially. But most for a phone, we figure videos, apps, music, and contacts are the things that people are going to want. Here are my contacts. So I can sort of go in like this. I can go make a phone call directly, or I can uh, send a message to someone over here. Uh, we use the right edge to go back, so there's a really slick way to sort of jump, jump through different um, applications that are running at the time. If I just shoot straight the way across this way, like, like that, then we'll take you to should should take you here. You see the you see your running apps really neatly, and all your system functions are up here. So you can get very directly to whatever it is that you want. So for example, if you want to check messages, then there they are. Let's delete some messages. I can reply to that uh, missed call. I can reply to this message. Delete this one. So it's a very it's a very fluid interface. Um, it's, it's the result of a huge amount of work to design a set of interfaces that are essentially each, I mean this is a great phone interface, this is a lot cleaner and crisper and more beautiful than Android, um, but it, it really is a, like a genius brother to the desktop interface, which is kind of like when you, when you see the phone interface and the desktop interface together, you understand how the pieces fit together. Yeah, we've, said that we will, we've said that we will show the tablet interface to Ubuntu in due course. We've also said that by 1404, which is our April 2014 release, we will have shrunk all of the different form factors, phone, tablet, desktop, and TV, into one release of Ubuntu. But the exact timing of the launch of the tablet and then the integration of the tablet into the standard Ubuntu release, we have, we've not disclosed a timeline for that yet. So we're kind of time boxed, right? All has to be done by April next year. And we've just shown the phone, so you can figure out there's not that much wiggle room. Phone, tablet, PC, TV, server, cloud. One security update for all of them. If we, if, we, if we find a performance optimization, it makes the cloud faster, it makes the phone faster. It's a, re it's a completely new way of thinking about this computing continuum.